our top five rayon chalet sewing projects, plus a sneak peek at our new pattern. Hi sewing friends, I'm Tessa from Love Notions and I'd love to share one of my favorite fabrics to sew with you today, and that's rayon chalet. So today we're gonna to be immersing ourselves in this like flowy world of rayon chalet. Um, we're gonna discuss some of its unique qualities. We're gonna give some smart sewing tips for rayon chalet. And I'm gonna serve you up five patterns that match perfectly with rayon chalet to help get your creative juices flowing. Oh, and make sure that you stick around until the end because we're gonna be showing you a sneak peek of our new pattern, which also happens to be a great match for rayon chalet. So let's dive in and start sewing rayon chalet. All right, let's talk a little bit more about what makes rayon chalet rayon chalet. So this fabric is also known as viscose chalet and it really is a totally dreamy fabric. Um, as far as it's, how it's derived, we get it from wood pulp and from what I've gathered, what they do is they take those natural fibers from the wood pulp, they mash it all up into like a solution, they extrude it into fibers and then they fibers and then they weave it together to make rayon chalet. So this makes a fabric that's very lightweight, it's very breathable. Um, some people say that it has like a really like fluid sort of feel to it. Um, it skims over the body really beautifully, it's really light. Um, if you gather it, it's not gonna get bulky. And it's composed of 100% um, rayon, so that means it's smooth, silky, it has a subtle sheen, and it really adds just like a level of elegance to a lot of your projects. Um, it's very breathable and it feels sort of luxurious, so it just is always going to add to that comfort and the style of whatever project you're working with. So because of the way that it's composed, rayon chalet is a slipperier kind of fabric, so it is going to pose a challenge to sewing sometimes. When I first started sewing Rayon Chalet, I was not quite prepared for how tricky some of the parts tended to be, although it was manageable. Um, I wish I had known some of these tips for sewing it back then that I know now. So let's talk about some tips for sewing Rayon Chalet. So working with Rayon Chalet requires kind of like a delicate touch. So these are the things that I've learned through my experience to make um, my sewing projects a little bit smoother sailing. So one thing you definitely wanna do is choose fine, sharp needles. I would suggest using maybe like a Microtex needle and um, definitely a new needle to prevent any snagging. And then you're gonna be able to achieve really precise stitches. One of the things about sewing with Rayon Chalet is that because the threads are so fine, um, if your needle has any sorts of like jagged edges to it, and which can just happen naturally through sewing, it can cause like little runs inside of the fabric. So like you'll be sewing up a line and then you'll see like all these little like little lines of threads pull. And it's not super noticeable, but it is very annoying. So having a really sharp new needle is gonna be key when you're sewing with Rayon Chalet. Another thing you're gonna wanna consider with Rayon Chalet is stabilizing the fabric. Um, you might want to use lightweight interfacing when you're doing a lot of work between seams. Um, that's to prevent stretching, um, any distortion that you might have in um, some areas that are prone to stress on your projects. So um, definitely interface your waistbands or um, you might want to interface around those necklines or any of those places where interfacing makes sense. Don't skip that step when it comes to rayon chow. Another thing about this fabric is that it's kind of, uh, it can be kind of fragile. So having a seam that is reinforced like by using French seams would be a really great idea. So um, as you're sewing the seams on a rayon chalet project, uh, if you're just like doing like an overcast stitch, rayon chalet can kind of like, not disintegrate, but it can kind of like break down a little bit um, and fray very, very easily. So uh, a French seam is gonna protect the inside so that if it gets pulled or stretched or anything like that, that it's going to um, keep everything enclosed. So um, I've had this a couple of times with projects, especially where I'm using like a bias tape around the edge of the Rayon Chalet main that the fabric 
because it's just like a little bit more delicate, it might like pull away from that more structured uh, piece of like bias tape, for example. So I would just be very, very careful to catch all of the seam allowance and enclose it somehow. Um, I would also be sure to um, sew with your seam allowance like consistently. Um, you're not going to want to have like little pieces that are in or out of the seam. Um, it's it's going to be one of those fabrics that just because it's a little bit more delicate, it's going to tend to fray or to um, be not as stable over time. So, and this is also true when you're coming to like more delicate parts like sewing a neckline, for example, um, you're the more that you handle a project like uh, a fabric like Ranch Alley, the more that you handle it, the more it can stretch out and grow, which is not gonna be good, especially on places like a neckline. So interfacing those places and stay stitching very carefully those places is going to be the key to getting a project that will wear with you for a long time. <clears throat> Another thing that you might want to think about is your heat settings when you are pressing. So we love it to press those seams, we love to make sure that that interfacing is attached correctly, but be really careful with rayon chalet that you do not burn it when you are pressing. Um, keep a press cloth over the project um, and I would use the very lowest possible heat setting that you can handle while still getting um, a pressed seam or a uh, pressed neckline or a pressed hem. When it comes to caring for this fabric, definitely pre-wash your rayon chalet fabric. Um, that's going to minimize the shrinkage that you might have after sewing your project and make sure we have so many beautiful prints that are happening on our rayon chalet. That'll also make sure that everything's really color fast before you start your project. When it comes to drying, don't wring it. Don't twist that fabric. Allow it to air dry or you can. I've really never had a problem tumbling um, my rayon chalet fabrics um, in the dryer on low heat. I just would separate it from other fabrics. For sure. Now, let's talk about some sewing patterns that coordinate beautifully with Rayon Chalet. And one of them is today's feature pattern, Tinley Skirt, Shorts, and Skort. This pattern collection is a dream for Rayon Chalet. Um, not only is this pattern great for Rayon Chalet, but it's really great for any lightweight woven. Um, and some of the views can even be sewn with a drapey knit. So this you know, style of pattern. It really is very versatile because you can actually even take those skirt views and add in biker shorts and you just get a ton of different ways to wear it. Um, and of course, Rayon Chalet is perfect for it because it gives you comfort. Um, Rayon Chalet is so breathable and light and flowy and all of those design lines, especially with those fuller skirts on the shorts or on the regular skirt, um, they look great in Rayon Chalet. So you can choose from straight shorts, um, full shorts, which are kind of like more of like a culotte look. You can use a straight skirt or a full skirt. And again, Rayon Chalet looks great in every view, but I highly suggest using Rayon Chalet for the full shorts view and for the full skirt. Um, and you know, when it comes to it, I really think that the idea of Rayon Chalet with those like little lightweight shorts, like how cute is that for summer with like maybe like a more structured top or like a sweater and then have real light, nice, flowy shorts underneath. So what a great set that would make. Um, I made a set with the cadence top and the Tinley skirt with the skirt, and I am absolutely in love with it. And Rayon Chalet would be great for that as well. And one of the great ways to use Rayon Chalet is with a waistline that has no closures. It's just elasticated. So it's a flat front and then the sides and the back are elasticated. And Rayon Chalet, again, perfect for that. It's lightweight, it's drapey, it's gonna accommodate that elastic flat front. Um, it's gonna accommodate that flat front as long as you interface it and then the back is gonna be elasticated and it's gonna, um, there's some kinds of fabrics that are get too bulky when you combine them with elastic, but Rayon Chalet is gorgeous with it. Now, another Rayon Chalet perfect pattern is the Lyric top and dress. And I've actually sewn the Lyric in Rayon Chalet several times. This is a button front dress or peplum. It has a flowy kind of fit um, and it is 
just really like a classic piece. Um, so whether you sew the top or the dress, you can choose button front, you can choose gathering at the waistline, you can kind of choose um, how to, um, whether you wanna make it longer, shorter, there's so many ways that you can go with the Lyric top and dress. I love it for this. And actually I made a tiered and gathered version of Lyric and I wear it all the time. I love it, it's gorgeous for this. And as for Lyric, whether you use rayon chali or any other fabric, um, you're gonna wanna really be careful with the binding that you use around the neckline. So rayon chali can pose a challenge for um, sewing the bias binding on the neckline. One tip that I have for you is to use the same kind of fabric. Now, previously I had used like a little bit of a, like a tougher, more of like that ready bot um, bias tape to finish off the neckline of my um, Lyric dress. And it worked beautifully, but I think that just to make a softer look and to have everything kind of sealed up a little bit nicer, um, I would next time use a self-made bias binding, like take the actual fabric of Ranch Alley and make the bias binding out of that. I think that it kind of meshes better together when you have like a really delicate, fragile fra fabric mixed with a sturdier kind of cotton fabric. Those two together, there can be like some pulling and tension there. So I would use um, bias binding that is made from the rayon chalet or something that's like a little bit softer. All right, now another pattern that I think is absolutely perfect for rayon chalet is the tempo sundress. This is just like scream summer. <laughs> the tempo sundress is, um, a perfect match for Rayon Chalet. It's breezy and light. It's got those tiers. It's got the gathers. Um, it has those straps that are um, really comfortable but a little wider to hide a bra. Um, but it also has those details in the back where you could either do an elasticated back or you can do the um, like ruched back. Um, and I think that Rayon Chalet will help you stay cool and comfortable in the sun in this sundress. Another really simple option for Ranch Alley is the Harmony blouse. This is just like a really beautiful, simple blouse um, that would look great in Ranch Alley. Um, the blouse has not really like a complicated closure in the back. It just has like this cute little button keyhole back. Um, and then the top is finished, the neckline is finished with a bias tape. Again, I would probably use like that same um, self-made bias tape. and. It is just a uh, cool, breezy, light, fits beautifully with the bus darts, um, and it just doesn't really have a lot of complexity to it. And I think Ranch Alley, because it comes in so many different beautiful patterns, um, you don't see a ton of Ranch Alley that's just a solid, but that sort of pattern that is like just a silhouette will help that um, bright, bold, beautiful print stand out. Now, another pattern that I think is great for Ranch Alley is the Vivace Dolman. Now, I think we featured this a little bit ago, but sometimes people forget that this pattern can actually be made in both woven and knits. And what is nice about this pattern is that it really shows off, again, those bright and bold, beautiful prints of Rayon Chalet really nicely. Um, it has this cute little pleat front. The neckline is interfaced, um, so it's gonna be solid and will stand up to um, whatever you throw at it when you're sewing, if you interface it um, correctly. Um, and it's just really nice, light, airy, great to just throw on with a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans. And um, again, another easy pattern that's perfect for Rayon Chalet. All right, now a bonus pattern. Caprice Skirt is our newest pattern that's currently in testing and it's going fantastic and it's great for Rayon Chalet. So um, you cannot buy this one yet, but it's coming soon. But I just wanted to kind of put it on your radar in case you're picking up some Rayon Chalet fabric somewhere to get it ready for Caprice Skirt because it really is the perfect pattern for the beautiful drape, summery, springy feel of Rayon Chalet. Um, Again, it's also a pattern that looks great with a lot of lightweight wovens. So this is a really 
comfortable skirt pattern. It's not complicated, but it has lots of details that you can kind of kick it up at a couple notches whenever you want to. It's meant to hit below um, the calf and kind of between the calf and the ankle. So it's kind of like a midi view. Um, you can include tiers, you could do gathers. There's like this little charming button detail and of course some very functional pockets. Um, this skirt really could not be easier to sew up because there's no closures, even for a woven pattern. It's just a simple and elegant waistband. So again, like we talked about before, when you're doing like anything gathered or elastic, Ranch Alley is great for that. So it can be totally quick because of that easy elastic waistband. Um, be sure to stay tuned because it's going to be releasing in just a few weeks and you'll be able to snag it for spring and summer. Um, and I just know it's going to be like that go-to piece that will give you lots of breezy, um, fun, cute comfort, and just a lot of opportunities to dive into your Rayon Shally stash. So one of the other things I like to do in these fabric videos is take some of the fabric that we have currently in stock in the workshop and show you some of the things that I think would be fun to make with it. So let me go through a couple of the pieces that I pulled out from our Rayon Shally stash to just show you some examples of what we're working with here. Um, so one of the first ones that I wanted to pull out was, I think I showed it to you just a little bit ago, was this beautiful um, Rayon Shally print. Um, this is actually something that was sent to me from, let me see if I have the info here. It's from a shop that's called, oh here it is. Um, it's called Frankie Rose Fabrics, and we've actually never ordered from them before, but they had seen our fabric features that we do, and they said, hey, would you like to try us out? Um, and I said, absolutely, send us whatever you've got. And so actually, I think I'm gonna be making my first sample of the Caprice skirt using this fabric. I think I'm gonna do the high-low option with the, like bottom gathered, um, tier at the bottom. Um, and I just, I am gonna, I think I'm gonna pair it with like a cute little short sleeve black sweater knit top. I'm either thinking Lennox, oh, maybe like Arlington, no, probably not Arlington. Probably Lennox, I feel like would be cute, like a square neck top, right? This would be really cute with that. So again, you can see like really drapey, um, lightweight, um, like you just see like the, Rayon Shally is so good about finding prints that are just like vibrant. So that's one that I have been looking at. Um, another pa uh, fabric that I pulled from our sash that I just love is that I think this is an Atelier Brun Brunette fabric. Um, I believe we picked this up at Melanated Fabrics, which is a fabric shop that I think is closing right now. So they have a lot of stuff on clearance if you are looking for things. Um, and this, I, honestly, I have plans, I think, to make this into a full skirt with biker shorts underneath it um, for Tinley. Um, I just think that would be like so cute, great for summer. Like I love the extra coverage of those biker shorts. Like I don't, have, I can go for a bike ride with it, um, even though I'm wearing a skirt and just kind of feel good. And it's also going to help with like that, you know, the thigh rub thing. If, if you know, you know. Um, and so that's another reason why I really love Tinley. Um, as I was going through, I also found this really pretty, super lightweight woven um, Rayon Chally. This, I believe, was a fabric that Tammy picked up from Style Maker Fabrics. And it, this one is actually a lot more, uh, like a lot thinner. Um, a little bit more delicate, it feels like, than maybe this one from Frankie Rose. This one from Frankie Rose seems to be just a little bit more substantial, but they're both still called Rayon Chalice. Um, so this one's really, really, really pretty. I think this one would look great as like maybe um, like a salt whistle, that um, square neck top. Um, with like the scallops. Uh, Rayon Chally could work really well with scallops as well. Um, so this would, be, this would be really cute. And I know that when you're joining seams on a dress sewing project, um, sometimes if you're using a thicker fabric that can create like a lot of bulk um, and just, you know, putting it underneath the serger is difficult. So Rayon Chally is great for that because 
Um, you know, even if you need to make a casing for elastic um, and then, you know, combine several of those pieces together and it's, you know, many layers, Rayanne Shelley is not going to be as complicated to work with in terms of bulk. So that's a really good thing. Um, I also found this piece from, I believe this was from Vogue Fabrics. This was a piece that um, I think Tammy and I picked up when we were shopping for one of the retreats, the Love Notions retreats. And I love how it has like this, you know, it definitely is a directional design here. Um, and I, and I, many pieces I've seen um, for Ran Chally will have like border pieces, which would be really cool. Um, I think that with this really bold type of design, like kind of geometric design, I would probably use something like a cadence, um, just to like maybe even just like a tank dress, just like a real simple sheath dress, um, and just let that bold print shine. Tammy also got in a couple of new fabrics from, oh, I want to say these are from L.A. Finch. And um, just like real pretty, I feel like this would be very um, good for like the moment right now. I would definitely make a caprice skirt out of this. Um, or really, I would... I would make a tempo out of, I would really do any of the patterns that we discussed just a, a few minutes back. Um, Tinley would be great for this, of course. Um, tempo would be great. Um, anything lightweight. This one just has such a nice soft feel to it. And it, again, is just a little bit, it's not quite as light as some of the other pieces were. So um, again, it's going to be breathable. It's going to feel nice on your skin while you're wearing it, which is such a nice thing to have. It's one thing to sew something, but then to sew something that you want to wear, that is the true key. So keep, think about that while you're picking out your fabric and your patterns together. Does this, this was maybe fun to sew, but do I want to wear it? So just something to consider. And then another piece we actually just got in in the same shipment that I think this came from, this really cute little, I don't know, is this a ditzy? This blue and white floral, just like so springy, so classic. Um, tempo sundress, for sure. Um, a harmony top with like a pair of cute little crescendo jeans, perfection. Um, so uh, great for the season, will feel great on. Um, so I think that's the moral of the story with Ranch Alley is that it's just one of those fabrics that feels good. So Ranch Alley is an easy to find fabric and it offers lots of possibilities for sewing. It's definitely one of the most common fabrics that I see on all the sites right now. So with these, you know, sewing patterns, these tips for sewing. I really think that you can elevate your wardrobe, um, but also stay comfortable and cool in the process. So grab your favorite Rayanne Chalet fabric and get sewing.